today is ABC Yoga Align, Balance, and Core. I come to you between two ferns. We're going to start in our standing position. I've been dying to do that joke. Hope some of you get it. We're going to start in Tadasana, feet grounded. Just check in with yourself here. Heels down, knees above the ankles, hips above the knees. Breathe. Hopefully you're somewhere where you can take that deep breath. Outside perhaps, it's a beautiful day. Center into your core. That means take a breath into your core. That means concentrate on your core. That means breathe. That diaphragmatic breath where you deep breathe and as you use your diaphragm to suck all that air into your lungs, your belly fills. Exhale, push it out. Inhale, lift your arms up. Nice long body, take a breath in. Exhale and down. One more breath in. Exhale, arms down. Take a breath in and lift. Keep that left arm up in the air, drop that right arm. Stretching that left side body. Use your arms and core to lift. Left hand down, right arm stays up. Breathe, lift, stretch. Both arms come up. Go ahead and take your fingertips together. Lace your fingertips, send your arms up. And we'll take it to the right. Lift. Take it forward. Use your core to lift. We'll take it to the side. And breath in. And come back down. Let's roll our neck, get everything warmed up. We're going to stand in Tadasana. Equally grounded in both feet, and then gently shift your weight to the left. Start out right away in our standing postures. We're gonna have our hip directly above our knee. Just kickstand that right toe, and if you can, lift that right knee up. You know if there's a chair by, grab it if you don't feel comfortable standing. It's the same effort. And let's just make some rotations with our knee. I'm feeling a lot of pops this morning. Keep rotating. And let it drop. Check in with yourself. How does it feel? You feel nice and stable in your Tadasana. Root down with that right leg. Kickstand the left toe. Bring in the left knee. Ground yourself. Drop your tailbone. Use your core to sit up. Stand up nice, straight, and tall. Let's go ahead and make some hip rotations here with that knee. Trying to keep your body straight. Rotate it the other way. And let it soften. Let's take a deep breath in and rise. Exhale, chest lift back bend. Inhale and rise. Exhale, fold forward. Take a your fingers to the mat or your shins, but rise. Take a nice half lift, nice straight back. Exhale and fold. Let's go ahead and spread our feet a little bit wider. We're going to come into Malasana. Heels on the floor if they can. Take a breath in and rise. Exhale, sink. Breath in. Breath out. You're using your thighs, you're using your core, and most importantly, you're using your breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Next one here, as we get down, we're going to shift our weight to the left, and we're going to rise on that left foot. Bring that right leg up. Drop that right leg. Rise on your right. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more on each side. Inhale. Inhale. And let's settle into Malasana. Elbows on the inside of the knees to open up your hips. Breathe. Drop your hands to the mat. Drop your knees to the mat. We're going to go ahead and place our hands in a position for table. Using your core, lifting it up. Let's rock our hips back and forth. Come into some cat and cows here. From a nice straight back, breathing nice and long. Tailbone goes away from the crown. Exhale, go ahead and curl that tailbone under. Tailbone, excuse me, look at your belly button. Taking all out all those inverse curves of your neck and your lumbar spine to create one big kyphotic C curve of your back. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. Spread our knees a little bit wider and come into child. Just to check in with our hips, check in with our shoulders. Take them nice and long here, nice big stretch. Settle in. And rise back into table. We're gonna keep our everything on the mat except our right leg. Take your right toes, take them back to the back of the mat so you're straightening out your right leg. Send your heel back in a stretch of that little calf muscle. You can even go ahead and lift your body, upper body up for cow. Exhale, draw your elbows out. Take a nice seat curve again for cat. Breath in and breath out. All the while stretching that heel away from you. This time lift that right leg up and we're going to bend it for some good stretches here for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Same on the other side. Drop the right knee. Take the left leg nice and long. Heel goes behind you to stretch. Go ahead and take a breath in and lift your heart. Making your upper body go into cow. This time exhale, draw your elbows out as you look toward your belly button, round your back. Breath in and breath out. Breath in. This time lift your left leg up nice and long, sitting the heel away from the tailbone, crown away from the tailbone, bend that left knee and we'll glute stretch for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's drop it down. We're going to come into our first down face dog. So hands are pressed into the mat. The rim of your hand is pressing into the mat. Fingers, fingers are spread nice and wide. Curl your toes under and let's come into down face dog. This is probably the best asana to check in with your posture, to check in with your breath, to check in with your stress, how it's landing, where that energy is not circulating, where it's stuck. Take a breath in, lift your hips high. Exhale, chest toward the thighs. Come into plank. Let's hold it for two long breaths. Lower down, exhale, chaturanga. As your elbows press into the side, breath in and lift your heart. Exhale, fold. One more deep rise up. And we're gonna curl our toes under, down face up. Left leg plants, right leg lifts. Bend that right knee and stack the right hip over your left. Open up your hip. Stretch, breathe, right leg lifts, right leg plants. Let's do the same on the other side. Left leg rises, left knee bends, left knee stacks over the right hip to open up that whole left side body, left hip. Left leg rises, left leg plants, bend your knees, come into child. We're going to do a series of movements here that's going to stretch our hips and work our biceps. So come into table. 
you're gonna hug and send that right leg nice and long. Go ahead and keep your um, arms straight, but as you bend, send your elbows back and your upper body just folds into the mat. Breathe in and lift. Plant that right toe and left leg goes high. Left knee plants, right leg lifts, and exhale for a little mini push-up. Right foot plants, left foot rises. I believe that was three. We're gonna do a total of five on each side. So left knee plants, right leg lifts, and a push-up. Right foot plants, left leg rises, left knee, right leg, and push-up. We'll come into table. Let's settle in for a little child in between. If you haven't worked your arms in a while, it's gonna be a little bit tough on you. You might feel it. So let's undulate, stretch your arms nice and wide. And we'll come on back in. This time, that left leg rises, bicep. Inhale, left leg plants, right leg lifts. Right knee plants, left leg lifts. Push up. It's a busy little day here. Left leg foot plants, right leg lifts. Right foot plants. Left leg lifts. I think we're on three. Four. And five. Both knees come to the mat. Spread your knees nice and wide for child. Bring those feet around and we'll settle into our back between two ferns. Let's go ahead and find a nice straight spine. Check in with your hips, making sure that's equidistance from your hip to your rib and rib to your hip. Feet are planted. Go ahead and rise up. Just test the water here as you scoop your tailbone under. Lift your hips high. Breathe in, lift your chin off your chest. Exhale, lower down. Let's go ahead and draw our knees into our chest for Apanasana. Little check in between, drop your feet. This time we're gonna rise all the way up to a nice bridge. This time tucking your shoulders in to be able to lift your chest a little higher, lift your hips a little higher. Exhale, lower down. This time lower down on your hands. Gonna go ahead and do some leg lifts. So draw your knees into your chest. Lift your feet high. Just put your um, land, your fatty part of your glutes on your hand. Lower your feet down. We're gonna hover about a foot or so from the floor. Open up your legs, lift up. Lower down. Go ahead and lift. Lower. I'm gonna do six of these again, so I think we're on four. And open up, lift them up using your core. And last one. I'm gonna reverse it now. We lower our legs with a nice big circle. And open up with one. Two. Three. Sitting in the fern and five. Keep hovering. We're gonna do some scissors here. So you're really gonna use your core and just rotate left leg on top, right leg on top. And we'll go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest. Let's finish with a nice happy baby. We're gonna reach around the outside of our feet. I don't think I've had quite as many interruptions. Back of the pelvis is on the mat. Reaching around, grabbing the ice sides of your feet. You're gonna press your hands to your feet, trying to lower your knees to the floor. Can you breathe in and lift? 
straightening the backs of your legs. Exhale, lower. Soften your chin. Breathe. Same muscles we used in Malasana. Go ahead and bring your knees into your chest. Let's rotate our feet. Right knee stays in, left leg goes long. Give it a nice stretch. Left leg comes in, right leg goes long. Switch. How many of this in the upper back so far? How about 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Knees into the chest. Let's keep our heels high. Waterfall. Kind of center your shoulders using your core. Let's do some reverse crunches here. But lift, 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 lift. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest. Let's drop our feet on the outsides of the mat. Okay, checking in with your spine. This is one of the only opportunities you probably have throughout your day to have a nice straight spine. Soften your shoulders. Let's take our knees, windshield wiper our knees. Check in with yourself. Breathe with your emotions, how you feel today. Check in with the voice you have inside your head. If it's not something you'd say to a friend, don't say it to yourself. It's hopefully one of the last days we'll do this virtually, and I really look forward to getting back into the studio. I'll let you know as soon as I know. Have a great day. Namaste.